Well, the weatherman owes me a water pump. No chance of rain overnight. Or like four inches. No idea. Dadgummit. Anyway, I don't know if it's salvageable or not, but we're gonna find out. I'm gonna drag it up out of there for now and just um, drain out the gas, drain out the oil, and see I've got some fresh oil around here. Well, I've got a gas can. It's still got, if it's not full of water. Uh, see if we can't start it and, and get it dried out. Uh, they're pretty basic little motors. As long as the carburetor's not screwed up, I think we'll be okay, but I have no idea. So. Anyway, this sucks. And all these years of running these water pumps, this is actually the first time I've had one flooded. And of course, this was totally preventable. If I had just drug it up here four feet onto the bank, it would have been fine. But as of bedtime last night, no chance of rain overnight, so we should have been fine. Apparently not. It's just so much flood pace. All right, so we got our flooded pump here, and we're just gonna go through it real quick. It only was underwater for maybe a couple hours, and it wasn't even entirely underwater. I think just the crank, really. Um, and that got so cold. Maybe, maybe the bottom of the carburetor, but assuming all this stuff is, you know, sort of fluid tight for gas and motor oil, then. It should also be watertight from the outside in. I don't think the air breather went under. So we're just going to check. Spark plug's definitely wet. So pulling it out. I'm actually just going to stick it back in for right now, but loose just to close it up. I'm going to change the oil, which is. Uh, be a 10 millimeter socket. Caroline, please don't touch that, especially with your filthy, ridiculous hands. Caroline? Do that. You want to get Pow Pow? Yeah, I can see you better go on. I'm just playing back. You're just trying to put your filthy, muddy hands in front of the camera. Ah, yes. I see muddy hands! Now, everyone has seen it. Go on. Emerson, yours are even worse. Okay, pull the old drain plug out here, and I'm actually doing this in the tractor bucket, so whatever spills out will be fine. It'll just stay right here in the tractor bucket. And then I'll clean it out with some oil dry later. Oil actually looks clean. It's not running out uh, real fast like it's full of water. It's running out pretty thick. Which I need to do an oil change on this thing anyway, so this doesn't actually bother me too much. The biggest thing is I just darn sure don't want to lose this pump. You know, I need this. This is actually one that I just put a new motor on not too long ago. I made a video about swapping the motors over. Well, I don't know, it's hard to judge the volume. Maybe it had some water and it seems like an awful lot of oil is running out, but I said it's kind of weird to do it messy in the in the bucket like this. It seems messy. And normally I would start the pump and run it first to warm the oil up to help it change, but of course I don't even want to try to start it until I feel like I've drained as much as I can. Probably got a full tank of gas too. Oh, half tank. Okay, and then we've got our plug here on the bottom of the carburetor. And there's one for to actually take the carburetor bowl off down here. Let's see if you guys can see that. Yeah, there's one on the bottom to actually take the bowl off. I don't really want to pull that one. I'm gonna pull this one on the side that's a drain. We'll just let it drain out a little bit of gasoline. Off, on. Just that way if there's water in the bottom of that car bowl, maybe it'll clean it out. Let it drain out. 
mean, in theory, if it got water in there, it should be on the bottom. It doesn't hurt to do that every now and then anyway, especially running cheaper gas, because that water will accumulate there. Oh, I didn't bring a daggum rag to wipe my hands. Fart. Can't wash gasoline off your hands with water, buddy. Good try, though. Let's right, turn it around here. Okay, we'll get unstuck. Don't step out of your boots. Emerson, come on. You're not stuck. Just try a little harder. No, get your foot back in that boot. Pull, pull, good. A little tip I will share with you guys on these pumps for putting oil in them. The stinking oil plug is down here on the side. Almost impossible to get to. <clears throat> Caroline, no ma'am. So I use this little bottle left over from a gear oil bottle and just put uh, 30 weight in it instead or SAE 30. And then you can jet it right in there perfectly. So, now, on the hunch, that it does have water in the cylinder. I'm going to pull the spark plug back out and do that first. Pull the spark plug out, pull the rope, let it blow out any liquid in that cylinder. Okay, I got clean oil on the dipstick. Let's just see if our air filter here is even wet. The air filter feels damp, could just be from the humidity because it's, there's not any standing water down in the, there's not any standing water down in the air intake, but the filter does feel kind of soggy to the touch. And maybe, maybe just to cheat a little bit, I'll take the, if I can anyway. No, you're not either. I'm gonna take the air breather off actually. Because if it is damp, I don't want it to pull more water into the cylinder when it's trying to combust. Alright, let's see. Put that cap somewhere that I'll lose it. Or well, maybe it's not damp. No, it's not. Well, it yeah, it felt damp at first when I squeezed it, but there's no moisture squishing out of it. So I would say it's no more damp than just, yeah, humidity. So let's hook that back up. You know, I've never actually done this before, much like most of my YouTube videos. I'm learning as I go, but I know there's lots of people that have gone through and, you know, restored car engines and whatnot that go underwater. And I would say time is of the essence. So, let's see now if we pull this plug. Let's see if anything, let's see if anything comes blasting out of there. Oh. Spark plug out. Oh yeah. Oh. Mm. And my parts motor is at my father-in-law's house. Well, shoot. Fresh water, drain the carburetor. 
busted the pull rope. About par for the course. I used to have some material around here for a pull rope. Let me go see if I can find some. Doggone it. All right, round two. I was able to, I just retied the handle. Hopefully I've still got enough rope to work with here. And hopefully it works. Nope. Oh, that just pulled the knot out. It's not wanting to recoil the rope now though. Something, I messed up something on the recoil, I guess. That's the end, because the knot actually came untied. I think one knot's sufficient. Back in. I put Ian out. I stuck. Well, it's not recoiling properly, honey. That way it's stuck. I don't know what's wrong with this thing. Pull ropes always aggravate me. I'm almost done. Am I almost done? Uh-huh. No, I don't think so, honey. Lunchtime yet? Heck, you guys barely just had your breakfast. Here, we'll just let just let you guys see this epic action. These kids can't help but get stuck in the mud. Classic. Every time after a rain, that's like the story of my life. These kids are stuck in the mud everywhere they go. Oh, they can't help but play in the mud. But they're not good at not getting stuck. All right. So let's try to get this pull rope put back on again now. It feels like it's recoiling a lot better now. That's actually promising. Because it's really easy. There's, a, there's enough slack in here. There's enough space that you can actually rewrap the pull rope without having to take all the spring mechanism out. I'm going to turn the gas off. Keep pulling and until the cylinder blows clean here. Now there, it's not blowing any fluid out anymore, at least. So, let's try our spark plug, dry it off, put it back in, there's some kind of ridiculous spider that just crawled out of the muffler, <clears throat> assuming this thing starts that spider will be happy you got out. Never seen the spider like that before. Spark plug in, pull rope on, fresh oil, drain the carburetor out. Let's check our motor oil one more time to see what the level looks like. Yeah, it's on the dip. All right, let's turn the gas back on and See if by some miracle this thing will actually start. I am not holding out hope, I promise you that much. Gas on, choke, throttle. Work our start switch. Bet my spark plug is 
wet again. Pull it out. Double check that it's actually firing, if I can. It's gonna be hard to see out here in the daylight, but. Yeah, it's wet again. Smells like gasoline this time, at least. Be my luck, this is probably off or not. Probably if I hadn't screwed with it, it would've just started right up. So this isn't actual starting fluid, but it's carbon choke cleaner, which usually works just about as well as can. We're gonna take this spark plug out, dry it one more time, just to make sure. Yeah, it's not too wet this time. That's promising. It's getting better. I think if I can get it going, then any sort of just nasties that are in the system will work their way out. If there's any residual water in the gas or anything like that, it'll work through. That's my hope anyway. A little shot of carbon choke. Way more than this motor needs. Pops on. Let's try taking all the gasoline out and putting it all fresh. tape on the suction hose. I feel like every time I run it now, I've got to put a little more tape on it, but it's pumping. Got some JB Weld in the truck. I got to put on that pump body because it's spraying out like crazy. And it's actually not sealed. A lot of times it's a bolt sleeping in the middle, but it's not. There's just a washout right there at the top. See, I don't know what that is. It's just a washout. I'll get some baby well on that. We're pumping. We got one. 